Hi everyone, this is Tita Esther. Welcome to Ferdinand's Poetry episode number 3. And if you're new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Today I have a very special guest. She loves to cook Mediterranean. She's an avid supporter of Ferdinand Blasquez's uh, poetry. Of course, she's also like me, uh, ambassador of True Love from the Women's Federation of World Peace. She admires the talent of Ferdinand in expressing his uh, thoughts and feelings through his poems. She is the wife and most important, she is the inspiration of Ferdinand in writing his poems. Without further ado, please welcome Merle Blaschke. So Merle, how are you? Kumusta ka na? I'm doing fine, thank you. Okay, what have you done uh, since we have the COVID? So, what did you do with Ferdinand the whole time? Were you staying home? Or you were, what have you been doing? We've been at home. I just finished my computer studies. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I took uh, internet business marketing. Oh, that's great. Online. Yeah. <laughs> Learned a lot. Yes, I actually I, I got a diploma. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, and that's great. Really at this time of pandemic, we really did a lot of learning to internet and social media and also we did a lot of Zoom meeting, you know, connecting to other members uh, of the community and also tell us about the, the Zoom meeting with the Federation for World Peace and also the yeah. Women's Federation. About Actually, this one. today, tonight, there there will be a Zoom yeah, mm -hmm. together okay. all over the world. Yeah. Yes, it would be yeah. interesting to join. It if is. I don't have time, I will join. Okay. <laughs> so, Merle, what uh, are you going to read today, the English poem? What is the title? The title is Soft Toys. And can you tell us about this one? What is it about? It should be Ferdinand who will answer you that because he is the one who wrote it. Yeah, but you were reading it, so you can tell me already what, and also yeah. the viewers <laughs> about this one. So you're get, letting about, us be excited it's about, about the one. about soft toys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it should be a surprise. Ah, okay. So. It will be a surprise. So, friends, <laughs> Merle, the chair is yours. Thank you. Soft Toys by Ferdinand Blaschke. Soft Toys. Soft Toys do smile all the while. From the bottom of their heart. Friendly to meet, they don't betray and cheat. Won't trick you and are not insidious. Soft Toys are honest and sincere. Never lying never hating, never framing, never gossiping. They do not kill, they do not swear. Throw no daggers to peers, your heart and mine. They wouldn't even think of it. Instead, 
they talk to you in their own way, giving love when needed, urgently, soft toys, hug and cuddle, warming you with their soft and velvet fur. They are your soul's companions, almost as if they were messengers from the very Garden Eden. In the end, they can be the best friends of your life, never changing, being always there to lift you up with their soft and tender loving care. Thank you, Merle, for reading this wonderful poem, Soft Toys. Time was running so fast. It's like it seems yesterday when I was here and it was already seven days ago. Ferdinand, what have you done the last few days? Well, I was, uh, first of all, I was waiting out the cold yes. because it was so cold. Yes. And then I tried to start the car and it started after the first attempt because uh, we had to go shopping and we also went shopping for a couple who are sick, you know, mm -hmm. both of them, one was sick with the virus yes. and wow. so we did that and now, thank goodness, it's getting a bit warmer, yes. finally. Mm -hmm. So it might be that winter is coming to an end, but yes, thanks, we don't yes. know. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, also uh, now it's like blue sky, it's getting warmer and that is like Everybody loves that uh, that it's not anymore very cold and freezing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ferdinand. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> what are you going to read today? What is the German um, poem yeah, you're going I'm to read? I'm going now? to read uh, Winter because um, now we there is still winter time, mm -hmm. and before the winter comes to an end, I want to to read that poem. Yes, in other areas still winter. You know, it's still winter wonderland. But now here in 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 the city, it's started the the snow is starting to melt and blue sky and then white snow. It's also a very nice uh, um, uh, view. Okay, Ferdinand. So let's hear your poem, Winter German poem, Winter. Winter. Schnee, der unter den Füßen knirscht. Luft, die den zarten Hauch des Atems zu Nebel werden lässt. Gefrorenes Wasser, das weiße Wände Türme Zapfen baut, manchmal kleine Schlösser. Rehe, die nach Futter suchen und sich der Menschen Häuser nähern. Scheiter, die im Feuer prasseln und ihre Lichter werfen. Sterne, die schon am frühen Abend am Dach des Universums funkeln. Bäume, nackt und kahl, Bächlein unter eisigen Flächen glucksend. Die Natur, sie ist still und leise schlafend wie die Nacht, sich erholend von des Frühjahrs, Sommers, Herbstes buntem Reigen, sich besinnend wie der Schöpfer, wartend, bis sie ihre Kraft wieder sprieß und fließen lässt. Thank you, Ferdinand, for today's episode. You want to say something to our viewers? Uh, yeah, thank you for listening and uh, hope to see you again next week, same time, same station. Okay, Merle, how about you? You want to say something to our viewers? Yeah, thank you for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Yes, okay, that's all for now. Okay. This is Tita Esther. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like Ferdinand's poetry, please check out his playlist in Tita Esther YouTube channel. There you will find all the videos we already uploaded, plus as a bonus and personal interview and a special trailer. Once again, nice to have you here with us. This is Tita Esther. Mabuhay and God bless.